Latest satellite imagery shows that the Chinese-built bridge over Pangong Lake is now fully operational, that connects the north and south banks of the Pangong Tsu Lake in eastern Ladakh. Indian Army's Eastern Command has started inducting Made in India AK-203 rifles. Bharat Forge has conducted trials of its 8-ton ultralight howitzer steel, making it a strong contender for the Indian Army's upcoming towed gun system tender, which seeks a lightweight system under 15 tons. The Indian Army has decided to deploy small unmanned aerial systems into its anti-terror operations in JNK. French firm Thales has signed MOU with Chennai-based startup Garuda Aerospace, to advance the development of the drone ecosystem in India. Indian Army will procure 45 new generation anti-drone systems, that will include a 3 km engagement range laser hard kill system. The Defence Acquisition Council has given its approval for the scheduled refit of INS Vikram Aditya aircraft carrier later this year. Central government has proposed constructing two more emergency landing facility in Assam. Palashnikov has delivered 3,000 production tools to India for AK-203 rifles, including cutting tools, stamps, fixtures and over 2,000 military gauges for field testing. Defence Ministry has signed a MOU to set up testing facilities in unmanned aerial system, communications and mechanical and material domains under the UP Defence Industrial Corridor. The Indian Air Force's Tejas Mark 1A program has hit a potential roadblock, as its Israeli origin ELM 2052 ASA radar is facing some undisclosed issues. The Israeli radar is intended as an interim solution for the first 40 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet, that was to be replaced by the indigenous UTAM radar from the 41st Tejas Mark 1A aircraft onwards. The nature of the current issues with the Israeli radar remains unclear, but if significant, it could further delay the Tejas Mark 1A delivery schedule. The Defence Acquisition Council has approved amendments to the deal for 31 MQ-9B drones from General Atomics, and as per officials, the approved amendments are within the scope of the acceptance of necessity that was granted for the MQ-9B deal and they are related to indigenous content and other aspects. With the Quad Leaders Summit scheduled to be hosted by India in December, both the MQ-9B deal as well as the F-414 jet engine deal will be concluded during the visit of the US President to India. The Indian Army is planning to upgrade approximately 975 T-90 Mark III tanks with the new indigenous Tatran 1500 horsepower engines, and this move is part of a broader strategy to maintain engine commonality across various tank models, including the Arjun Mark I-A Mark II and the future DRDO futuristic main battle tank, as it will streamline maintenance, reduce logistical complexity, and enhance overall operational efficiency. 60% of the major DRDO reforms have started being implemented in a phased manner, and the government will take the final decision on the remaining reforms, under which DRDO will concentrate on fundamental and applied research and development, and leave systems integration and product management largely to private sector. The DRDO has faced scathing criticism for huge cost and time overruns in developing advanced weapon systems over the years, and it has even been seeking repeated extensions for mission mode projects, which are high priority programs based on specific operational military requirements that must be completed within definite time frames. Today's top 3 comments.